Um, this is the final hour of lug on the day. Coming up next, Sean's Closet. Um, this final bag in the show is called The Crescendo. What a name. Um, the Crescendo, you know, Amy, Amy not only experiments with storage and how to put a pocket and a place for everything without making the bag the size of the trunk of your car, but she really is clever in terms of coming up with sizes, um, adorable sizes and shapes of bags. And so let's be clear, this is that. This bag um, is so darling that it is, it is, I think, gonna just complete the show in a huge way. I'm also gonna say <laughs> perfect visual here right now. Brand new today and your first look at this as well. What you're seeing can be a fanny pack slash hip bag, waist bag, or it can be a crossbody bag, or it can be a clutch, or, I mean, I could keep going here. There's RFID on the inside. Okay, so let's show you what's going on here. It's called the convertible shopper. The bag you just saw that she was wearing around her waist is this bag, just with the crossbody strap filed through these little belt loops back here. When you're not doing that, you can wear it like this. Um, Amy, here are the colors, and then we'll take the quick tour. Down here, remember we had in our um, TSV that beautiful gray butterfly, so here we go in that choice. Then next to that, nautical navy, all that nautical marine roping. Remember in the last bag, that sketch floral blush sold out, so here it is in this brand new Crescendo Crossbody Shopper. Then our regular black. I'm wearing Paws Navy for those of you that have um, a little pet friend in your life. Definitely looks like the most magical place on earth. She calls it Crimson Dot. Heathered gray, it's like that flannel suit gray. Um, taupe camo, bright floral. All right, girlfriend, let's take that tour. So Sean, the reason why I named it the crescendo is because in music you start from soft and you go to loud and because this bag goes from this to this. <laughs> <laughs> no one understands how, so go to it, girl. All right, so let's un unzip that main interior. So what I wanted to do was give you that great, because we have a lot of bags that are kind of the silhouette. We love them. I wanted this to be that easy tourist bag. Maybe you're walking around New York City. Maybe you're doing some, you know, sightseeing. So you still have a functional bag. You've got RFID shielding. You've got cargo pockets. You've got a zipper pocket in the front. But when you're out and about, you maybe you've made some purchases and you, you wanted to, you bought some more. Well, unzip that main compartment there and you're going to reveal <laughs> Great coat. <laughs> she does this all the time. Like she comes up, seriously, like it's so fun because you debut bags all the time that start their life as one thing and then they origami into something else and talk about like just perfect for life and storage. Just like I said earlier, there are gonna be times where you need a bag this size and then you get a bag this size, but the bag this size is the bag this size. <laughs> It's clever. It's so clever, girl. And it's really fun too, because you know, I wanted to make it easy and not a big headache to get back into the bag. So you just kind of roll and fold and just get it back into that main compartment. But you know, there's been so many circumstances where I'm out and about, you know, I don't want to carry a big bag, but I know that, well, maybe I'm going to pick up something and purchase something or I'm going to need a little extra. I just love having that extra, you know, peace of mind that I've got that larger bag when I need it. But we you know when I, want to just start out with something small. So that's why we called it the crescendo because it just starts out with something small and then it grows to something big. And then it all folds back in, which is really great. Um, this is this really will be an amazing one for travel. Um, and keep in mind, all of this is brand new today. Um, girl, the other thing that I think is very clever since you are kind of the queen of conversion, this doesn't just convert from a a pint size east west cross body to a big shopper tote you can wear it as a little belt bag fanny pack 
Yep, you totally can. So giving you those belt, belt loops in the back, which were signature to us, we like to have, I like to just give you options just how you can use it. Because I know when you go, if you're out on a trip or you're going from day to night, you never know what it is that you're going to be doing, what activities. And sometimes you just really need that hands-free option with nothing on your shoulders. So whenever possible, I always like giving you those belt loops in the back because it just lets your bag, just gives you one more option and versatility and how you're going to wear it. But when it's in this size, I still wanted the bag to be practical, to be able to store things. You can get your phone in here. It's actually a built-in wallet inside. So giving you still that great capacity when you need it, but then when you need the storage, you, need, you just maybe bought something, you went to the market, how awesome that you have this great bag. And maybe it is that you're for the trip, right? Coming home with all your souvenirs, how fun. All right, so as we wrap, um, let me take you through your choices one last time because this too was saved for this show and this debut tonight instead of airing earlier on the day. Crimson Dot, Heather Gray. Camo taupe, bright floral. Up top and over here is our Paws Navy. So really a big fan favorite collector's item for any of our four-legged friends. Um, black, sketch floral blush, nautical navy, and gray butterfly. And um, guys, keep in mind, this is your last lug hour on the day. All of these new things that we had in the show, including the TSV, our only order of the year. So as we thank Amy, and we're gonna see her for a hot minute at the end of the next hour, her day is almost done and quantities are all we have. So now is the time to check out of your cart and not miss your chance. Thanks, honey, I'll see you shortly. Oh, thanks, Sean. All right, Sean's Closet is up next. <laughs>